everyone welcome to the channel today uh, got a great little DIY project for you I'm in our what is we call our puppy room slash dining room and uh, my wife and I we breed golden doodles and we just finished up a litter uh, from this uh, this winter um, our last puppy is going home this coming weekend but what I want to share with you today one challenge that I had uh, when we were right getting ready for this litter to come is having a pen area in the home to be able to uh, allow the puppies to be able to grow into and so one challenge that I had was I went online and did some research and the only thing I could find was these really expensive buy part pens and those of you that that breed dogs and did that kind of work you know exactly what I'm referring to but that uh, you know they were really really expensive and I got to thinking there's got to be an easier way to do this and so what I did was I went on YouTube and did some research and couldn't find anybody that had a video that pertained to this and so I got to thinking I told my wife I said I really need to make a video when I get ready to take the pen down that explains what the pen is how I built it kind of what the costs were involved in it because I know there's gonna be a lot of folks out there who are gonna be looking for the same thing and that's what this channel is devoted to DIY being able to do it yourself anything from 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 puppy pens uh, for indoors that are customizable to whatever size you need to anything technology websites all those kind of things uh, in-home uh, uh, repairs and renovations all those kind of things so anyway I hope you enjoy this uh, this video I'm gonna uh, take some uh, information put together for you here about what kind of costs, what kind of parts I used, and then also want to give you a, a little time lapse here that will show you the pen area as I deconstruct it, how quickly it's able to be de deconstructed, and uh, just so you will know it went together just as easy. So anyway, hope you enjoy this uh, information, enjoy the time lapse, and uh, we'll see you in just a few moments. Okay, so just wanted to give you a, a quick view of this pen area uh, that I constructed. This pen area is roughly eight feet by eight feet. Um, and it's, you know, it's been our puppy room for the last two months. Um, this is our last puppy to go home here. And this is Miss Zoe. She will be nine weeks old on Tuesday, just in a few days. And she is a F1B Golden Doodle. She's absolutely beautiful, sweet girl. And uh, she'll be going home soon. This is, excuse me, this is Lance, one of our He's our golden retriever. He's my buddy. He helps me with everything, so he's going to be in here with me today. And then, uh, and there's our standard poodle, Charlie. So, anyway, uh, just wanted to talk real quick about this pen area and just give you a little bit of information. This pen is built of three quarter inch PVC that you can, you know, you can. I, I bought I bought all my PVC pipe, bought it at Lowe's, and then. One th I, I found a couple of different ways to do this. One way that I did, I used, these are uh, three quarter inch tees, okay? And so this allowed me to do a couple of things. One thing that allowed me to do, it allowed me to be able to control the spacing between each spindle. Now, having puppies, you know, that, you know, uh, Zoe, she's, she's you know, between nine to 10 pounds now, but when they were younger, they easily, I had to be able to construct this where they could not escape. We had a litter last year that I did not have this pen area for, and I had a couple of those puppies that were really quick to escape. They would go out through this opening into the kitchen, and they were easily around in and through the house, no problem. So I said, I gotta have something that can control the spacing. So I could have done a couple things. I could have done it this way, which is the way I went with. And then also I could have took a larger size diameter PVC pipe and I could have drilled holes in it and then uh, basically use PVC glue to glue it together. But then the problem would be I couldn't easily customize it. I couldn't easily take it apart. And so what I ended up doing was I ended up buying these three quarter inch tees. Now I used about 200 around 280 uh, of them. I'll, I'll have you the exact information in the description below. So if you want to check out the description, I'll have some links there for the supplies and material cost. So you'll be able to, to reference back to that. But uh, so basically uh, I had a combination of three quarter inch tees 
and then I bought some of these. Now this is what's key right here. These are these are are basically they're they're 90 degree corners, but they have an outlet. So and again, I'll have a link for this in the description. But that's what allows you to make this corner and be able to put everything together, and also have a spindle and keep your 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 all your distances the same. So so basically, what I did was I constructed the pin area. I had to cut all these spindles down and the beauty of it is depending on what kind of a breed dog you have if you don't need one to be quite as tall as this you can you can shorten those spindles to whatever measurement that you want so these are cut at uh, right at 30 inches if I remember correctly by the time I put a bottom and top on it it puts it just up over 30 inches because we do have large breed dogs and that keeps our bigger dogs out of the area but they can they can uh, you know come up and, and be able to, to see the, the puppies and that kind of thing so um, so basically what I did was I constructed that and then I uh, basically come up with a design for a gate all this entire this entire system is all PVC it's all fittings and parts um, including a hinge system that's here and I'll try to give you some detail on that as I disassemble some of this uh, down and then th the amazing thing is you can glue as much of this together as you want to or You can glue it in sections and then you can pre-drill you can put screws in um, I did a little bit of uh, Gluing but the only areas I glued was in this gate um, So when I take all this down, I will spend some time before our next litter that will become in springtime I will go through and probably do some modifications to it and I'll be sure to share those on YouTube as well. The bottom floor uh, in here in our uh, dining room, which is what normally it would serve as, has hardwood floor. So I wanted to put something in here that would keep uh, any liquids or anything from getting down and staining the floor. So I went to Lowe's and I bought a vinyl remnant. Um, and that's what this is. This is simple vinyl flooring that I laid down up underneath uh, these two before rails are at the bottom so I laid that down and then I basically um, just create a quick frame that has some metal support brackets in the corners to keep it from moving and that keeps the vinyl floor in place and then I was able to fasten my rail system to the two befores using those are just some CPVC pipe clamps bought those at Lowe's too so um, I have nowhere the cost in this that I would if I would have pre-bought um, some kit that is nowhere near sturdy and and I can do whatever I want to with this if I want to section out areas I can do that no problem so um, anyway uh, just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit but again I'll have all the the items and information in the description below so be sure to check that out and um, you know feel free to toss me any comments or suggestions Maybe some of you out there have run across some similar things like this um, and, you know, you may have a couple of good ideas, you know, that we need to get out there and share with others. So anyway, um, I'm going to do a quick time lapse here of uh, taking this apart and it's going to go really, really quick. Um, so and then uh, I'll be back to uh, get everything wrapped up.
Okay, real quick, I just wanted to show you something on this, uh, this particular gate. I built this gate, uh, just kind of came up with the idea basically from scratch, but I wish I would have made this, these crossbars a little bit higher and the gate a little bit shorter because we got to where when we began to open and close this gate, when these puppies got a little bit bigger, they were able to jump right over this. So I'm probably going to modify this gate for our next litter. Uh, but basically the gate is just comprised of just some three quarter inch pipe that's cut down and this is just just to kind of trim it off to make it neat but these are just 90 degree elbows and some tees uh, put together and then i put a threaded tee here with a threaded elbow and that operates as a hinge so um and then on this side for the for the actual hinges itself these are one inch tees with three quarter inch couplings stuck inside of them tied into the pipe and then this is just a three quarter inch T tying right in to this, uh, to this one inch uh, T here. So it fit together perfectly. Uh, just a little glue. Don't be sure not to glue this part because this part right here actually rotates on those couplings. So you don't wanna make sure you put any glue in that. But other than that, this gate worked great. I uh, wanna do a couple of modifications to it. But uh, other than that, it uh, worked out great. So just wanna be sure to uh, tell you guys about that. Well, and it's that easy. Uh, just a few more steps and uh, get the table and stuff moved back and uh, do some additional uh, cleaning and stuff in here, but uh, we're good to go. So everything's finished up. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, um, this video and I hope it uh, brings some help and use to some of you out there. And uh, be sure to hit the like button if you like this video or leave me any comments or suggestions or any questions you may have about this particular uh, project that I've uh, shown here today. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day.